Welcome to an IU's short introduction to the World Bank database. At the IU's homepage, iuse.eu, you can find a direct link to the World Bank database. When you enter the site, it normally looks like this, and you can see there's some pre-selected indicators and a lot of pre-selected countries. In this case, we would like to create our own table. So we start out, first of all, looking, are we using the right database? In this case, it is the World Development Indicators, so that's fine. Next step will be to pick the countries. In this case, there was these pre-selected. We remove them by unselect all. and then. We could choose Belgium, why not Bangladesh, and China. Three countries. Now it would be nice to take some country groups together with these three countries. Then we have to press aggregates. And here we can choose the low income group and compare that with the high income group. If we apply the changes, we have now chosen three countries and two country groups. Next step is the series. We had a lot of pre-chosen one. We unselect them. And we decide that we would like to look at the life expectancy in the chosen countries. You can scroll down the list. There's many, many indicators, or you can get a little help from this alphabetical result. We see if we can find our life expectancy at birth total. That is the one we need. Apply change. And the last step is to define the time span and the years we need. Influenced by the MGG development program, we might as well choose 1990, 2000. And here we unselect the ones we was pre-selected. We could have unselected them all. And we pick the three latest years because we don't know if the database is updated with all these years. We apply the changes. And we can see that in 2014, there's no data. So, and but 2013 looks okay. So we deselect 2012 and 2014 and applying the change. And the last step will be to create the real table, because we can only see one country at the time here. And we would like to have a table with all the countries represented. In this case, we press layout. The time in columns works fine. The series could be page and the country, therefore, the rows. If we apply these changes, we have the table. This table can be downloaded and copied if you just uh, highlight it and copy it into a word processor, for example, you have a table there. Or you could decide to make a chart of it. You can you are given a, a a logical line graph for the development, and this graph can naturally be exported to another program too, for example as a JPEG image. So when we have found this or we put that down there, we can just see how it works. I open a word processor. 
and inserts a picture. And let's see if we can find it. It was, sorry, it was here. My chart number five. And we've got the chart in our document. The same thing could count with the, with the table. So I hope that you've seen that although the World Bank database is a huge database, it is actually fairly easy to create your own table. Good luck with your own work.